your seatbelt off for me? Okay. Yeah, take it off. We're ready to take off. On June 12th in Ferndale, Michigan, things escalated fast when a cop pulled over a Jeep going way over the speed limit, like 30 miles over, on 8 Mile Road. And the driver turned out to be this 25 year old guy named Donald Brazell. Yeah, take it off. We're ready to take off. The officer started asking the usual questions like, why were you speeding? Brazell's answers were kind of sketchy. He handed over what he claimed was his license and insurance information, but something wasn't adding up. How are you doing tonight? Oh, for Jelly, you know why I'm stopping you? Uh, probably I was sliding back there, my four wheel drive was acting up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you were sliding back there, and then yeah. the reason for the speed is what? No reason at all. Okay. Yeah, your driver's license? Yeah, driver's license. This car registered to you, sir? No, sir. That's how it's a manufacturer plate. Yeah. Your license plate? Yeah. Where's it come back to? Uh, it's still come back to the dealership. The, the dealership? Recall. The dealership. The dealership's recall, my last one. Okay, what dealership does it come back to? Uh, I Dodge on uh, Farmington. Not Farmington or manufacturer. I'm not sure. No, no, I had a recall on my last one. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. That's when the officer noticed the license plate didn't match the Jeep at all. They ran the VN and discovered the Jeep wasn't registered with Brazil. Basically, nothing he gave them was legitimate. And you see that plate doesn't even come back to this car at all. What's it come back to? It's it's a it's a dealer plate or whatever. Yeah, it's a manufacturer plate. Yeah, Come FCA US L nothing. Look. What what is it registered to? Uh, FCA. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's Chrysler it's, car. Because it's Chrysler. Yeah. So it's not going to register to anything just because it's a de it's a. I'm gonna have to go up and grab. I'm gonna have to grab that VIN. This ops number is not coming back to him. The cops returned for a third time to dig into what was happening, but Brazil wasn't having it. Out of nowhere, he hits the gas and tries to take off. I'm gonna pop in the door open so I can see the VIN and got it over there. Should be right here on the inside of the door. It should have been right here <laughs> where it should have been. Right? But yeah, they just threw me this one. They said this is something they use this. Oh, okay. The air in, so. we'll, we'll figure it out in a second here. The VIN, the VIN on the inside door is taken off. Oh, is it stolen? I don't know if it's stolen, but it's not there. All right, you're going to have to shut the car off. Shut the car off for me real quick, bud. Okay. So, so you take your seatbelt off for me? Okay. Yeah, take it off. We're ready to take it off. At this point, it turned into a full-on chase, but the officer remained in the moving vehicle. Six point in front of you, I want to take off. Now, this is the body cam of the officer who was getting dragged along. As he managed to get the suspect to stop the car, he watched how the suspect was more scared of getting tased than the consequences he was about to face. No, you're getting out of the damn car. I'm gonna get out of the car. No, hey, right now. I'm gonna get out the car. No. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Step out. Step out of the car. Alright, I'm on the ground. Right. I'm on the ground now! Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, you almost killed me! Oh, for what, dude? For what? You can fear all you want. You don't think I was in fear for my life? Secure, we're on. Brazil was arrested after that, but the officer who got dragged earlier was clearly shaken. He was okay, though and they managed to get Brazil cuffed and ready to take in. What the hell's wrong with you? You got it, bro. You got it. Turns out, the whole situation was worse than it seemed. Brazil had been driving a stolen Jeep, and the fake license and insurance were all part of the lie. He had stolen the vehicle from a nearby town months ago. Is he the only one? Yeah, the car stolen. Is it? No van. Supposed to come back there, then he gave us a fake ID. Hey, why don't you just have a seat? I gotta stand up so I don't like Okay. 
Brazel ended up facing a bunch of charges, including vehicle theft and assault on an officer. Shoplifting drug bust. It all begins with officers confronting a woman, identified as Amber McCann, who is suspected of shoplifting. As officers approach her and ask her, she accepts placing the stolen items in a random car because she noticed the police coming. Okay, is this your car over here? No. All right, would you come over here with me? Where? Over in this lane. For what? So, we're doing an investigation right now. Apparently somebody walked out with a... Car, car put it in a random car? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Okay, would you come over by the car with us? Oh, whose car is it? What do you mean? Whose car is it? I don't know. Me neither. Okay. The officers not finding her explanation credible continue asking questions. Amber describes the car vaguely, claiming she doesn't remember what kind it was, further complicating the situation. Put all the stuff in a random car you didn't yeah, know? Yeah, it's a game I was playing. Okay. Yeah. What for? Um, just for the hell of it. Okay. You got any idea on you? No. All right, I left it in the car. Which car? The random car. I don't know what car it was. What color was it? Um, Silver. Silver. Gray, right? something just, like that. So you left your ID in some random car? Yeah, my whole bag. All my... All right, makes sense. What kind of bag do you have? The officers become more serious, instructing her to put her hands behind her back. Amber is detained, and officers prepare to search for her belongings. You have no idea what kind of car you were no, driving? No, because y'all were coming, and I just ran up to the car and put it on. It's a game that we play. It's called 21. It's basically like you go and steal all the that you can steal, and then you get out without getting caught. So, well, I did it one other time than this time, but I got caught this time. So now I got to figure out where my purse is and where my merchandise is, because now I got to give all the merchandise back to Walmart. Yeah. It is a game. It's theft. To you, that's theft. Though, it's, it's, in the it's, state it's, of Florida. It's fun too. It's really fun. Oh, going to jail is fun. Okay. Well, I suppose. Am I going to jail? Well, we'll see how much stuff you took. It's a lot of. Stuff. So where's, where's okay. your car at? It's real fun. I don't know. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. Can you hold that? Uh, what's wrong, your arm? Yeah. Broken? My pinky is. So be careful. Oh wait, a second. Excuse All right, we'll get, you, that. we'll get just, that. We'll okay. get that. We'll stop. get stop. Give me light jackets. Uh, uh, I no, have a I hobble. Hey, I have a hobble. So you're not under arrest right now. All you're right. just being secured so we can conduct our investigation. The officers begin searching the random car. They quickly discover a large stash of items inside, ranging from beauty products to dog food and home goods. As they search deeper, officers find a bag of white crystals. The case takes a more serious turn as drug possession is added to Amber's list of charges. We got white crystals, gobo pipe, and a safe. Let me see. Do. This has white crystal in it. Like small, small amount, but there's white crystal in it. I don't know. Well, don't break it. They also find safe, multiple prescription medications, some under Amber's name and others under a man's name. The officer asks Amber about the safe's combination, but she claims that she has no idea about the safe and its contents. You said What's that? What's that? Miss Amber, do you know the combination of that safe back there? What safe? The safe that's in the trunk. No. So you don't know what's in it or whose it is? No. Okay. He doesn't even, hey, he doesn't even have a safe. Well, there's a safe in the trunk, so. That's, it can't be his. What's all that stuff on the top of the thing? What? What's all that stuff? Stuff that was in the trunk. Who's safe? That's not his safe. He doesn't even own a safe. Did you have anything in the back of the car in the, in the trunk? I have my purse and the shit I stole. Okay. The officers use the breaching tools to open the safe. Inside, they find a firearm and more drugs. All right, uh, signal zero right out the gate. Matthew Campbell now. And there's a baggie underneath there. Got it. And there's oh, marijuana what residue. Is this? What is this? Is that a light safe? That's a, that's a lighter. lighter. No. I'm rolling. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, fun box. As the search continued, officers found silver, copper, platinum bars, and other valuable items in the safe. Officers offer Amber a chance to explain the contents of the safe, but she denies any knowledge. My boyfriend's car, your but boyfriend's my boyfriend car? doesn't know that I steal. Okay. And he doesn't know that I put all this in the car neither. Okay. So, I yeah, would we'll be really in trouble with him, but 
that's the that's the so thing. So what, what kind of car is it? I don't remember because it's what, a rental. What color? I just got the rental car. What color? I thought you said it was someone random. Yeah, I know. I lied to you. Her bre okay. her boyfriend rented Hang the car. On. Yeah, he rented the car. Okay. Um, Hold on one second. On, real quick, before we go any further, okay? She's just gonna you read you something. You have the right to okay. remain silent. Okay, Anything blah, 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 blah. Well, we, we still I have, have to, to read it before okay, we can talk to you. It's like music to my ears. Anything you say, Cannon, will be used against you in court law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with okay, you while you're being questioned. Blah, blah, blah. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. All right, cool. So anyway, that's done. Um, like I was saying, yeah, that's my boyfriend's car. He rented the car and he was shopping and I had found all this that I wanted because they told me to play 21 and my okay. boyfriend's older than me, so he doesn't play that. Amber finally admits to some of her actions, saying her boyfriend doesn't know she steals and isn't aware of her involvement in the theft. She continues to deflect blame, claiming she doesn't know anything about the safe or drugs. So I just want to ask you a quick question, okay? And you can decide how to answer it however you want, okay? Uh, There's a pretty decent amount of crystal meth and other narcotics in the car, okay? That's okay, I'm not sure I don't know anything about it. Okay. Well, I was just giving you an opportunity. We do have narcotics detectives that can talk to you. You might be able to better your situation with the state. If, if you want to talk to them, I don't I can know call anything about it. Okay. Thank you. High speed pursuit. A high speed pursuit in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, quickly escalated when suspects fled a vehicle after an alleged retail theft at Dick's Sporting Goods. Despite orders to stop, the suspect refuses, leading the officer to call in the pursuit. The vehicle, a gray Camry, speeds down, reaching speeds of 57 MIMP. The pursuit moves eastbound on Capitol Drive, with the officer requesting additional units and stop sticks in case the driver attempts to flee again. We're still eastbound Capitol, speeds 59. Traffic medium. The suspect eventually pulled over behind a disabled vehicle near the block of Capitol Drive. The officer, worried that the suspect might take off again, calls for backup and asks other officers to prepare stop sticks. 146, I'll wait for another vehicle to come in case I exit and they take off again. Again, we're eastbound Capitol, about the 11000 block. 10 4 115, 160 coming. 10 4 One just wants to set up sticks ahead of us just in case. As another officer arrives, they attempt to make contact with the driver. The officer approaches the vehicle on foot. While the driver still has the foot on the brake, the officer orders the suspect to roll down the windows. Driver of the Camry, roll all your windows down now. 106 is 10 Driver of the Camry, roll your windows down now. The officer places stop sticks under the suspect's vehicle, preparing for the driver to flee. Moments later, the suspect throws the car into reverse, making contact with another vehicle before speeding off again. Reverse! Contact and 146, vehicle's taken off again. The chase comes to an end when the vehicle starts smoking and loses a tire. Multiple suspects then jump out and run in different directions. And foot bail, foot bail, foot bail. Three occupants. I got one occupant down on the ground. Looks like a passenger took off going westbound and the driver took off going eastbound. A K-9 unit is deployed to help track down the suspects. The dog quickly alerts officers to a person hiding behind a garbage can. The woman, later identified as Dariana Anderson, is ordered to show her hands and is taken into custody without further incident. Get on your knees. Drop down your knees. Keep your hands in your back. Officers act quickly, putting Anderson in handcuffs. Anderson is handcuffed, but when officers ask for her name, she refuses to respond and instead requests water. Officers check to ensure the K-9 didn't bite her and confirmed the marks on her arm were not from the dog. Steaks and crack. Everything you said has been a lie so far. So you're not coming back. You had steaks in your pants. 
Back. You're packing some serious meat down there. Stop it. Oh my God. It all started with a woman who claimed that her husband was in jail and his phone was in the hands of a local prostitute. She's taller than me. She's got red hair. It's up in a ponytail, but it's folded over. Go. Bright um, red or just like red? Like, like orangey red? Like uh, natural red hair color. Okay. How'd she get the phone? He gave it to her before he went to jail but she's not supposed to be selling it. Hey, Joe. Yeah. yeah. Looks you like also a know it is deep? I don't know it's deep. Do you have a phone that belongs to the woman up front that no. we can just get back to her? I don't have a phone. No? No, I don't have a phone. I don't have a phone. I don't have a phone. I don't even have a phone. The police find the woman, but she tells them she doesn't have the phone. Meanwhile, she's trying to dodge questions about her relationship with Taz, the lucky guy in jail. The officers check her bag for the phone. Is Taz in jail right now? Yeah. Yeah. So you aren't with him? No. He's with I'm some other girl? Amanda. Right, Amanda. Is she a big girl? Uh, she used to be. Crash uh, brown hair, straight brown hair. Let me see her. Uh, I, I don't mess with Taz. You don't mind if I take a look for you? Yeah, I don't have a phone. Empty your bag for me? Yeah, I'm making stuff yet. I've got good old Verizon cell phone service not working out here. What's that mean? Shut it off? No, it's just shitty signal. Yeah, don't get out. What are all these stinks? You guys are... There was no phone, but what did they find in her pants? Steaks. Literally, she's trying to steal steaks. Not even high tech, just plain steaks stuffed in her pants. Along with the steaks, crack pipes are falling out of her pants. I mean, talk about a bonus package. Hey, you, what's this? These are steaks. I'm getting steaks. No, this is not a steak. No, these are all steaks. Though, well, are you stealing steaks? No, then? I'm not stealing steaks. Give me a break. What's up your? Oh my God! You got crack pipes falling out all over the place. Damn, Erica, you can't do that. Well, I do it every time, but it's a kid. No, this is, you're full of shit. I used to do that all the time. No, you're That's what I do to keep me from stealing. You were trying to steal steaks. I don't have a bar. You're missing something there. All right, you got another one. I don't have a bar. I don't have a bar. I don't have a I'm not going to. I don't have a bar. What are you doing? The police call in someone from the store to deal with the steaks she's now sheepishly pulling out of her pants. The officers don't even know what to do at this point. It's a circus. Oh, and the meat down her pants. It's not just one or two steaks. It's a whole meat market. How are you gonna put this down your pants? I'm going to do. I do that. You're gonna pay for part of it and steal the rest of it. Stop it. Do we do we look like we're a couple of twelve year olds? So you buy this and steal that? What do you do? So why is this floating around in your car? Why not? Oh, that. So she had uh, was it three or four down her pants. Three? She's one on each side and one down the front. She's I've never been in there. I don't know which one was down the front. But um, the girl that looked like me got a, a cross over. Uh, it's her, her. Well, we're here for something completely different. Okay. Just... Now store security gets involved and officially bans her from the store. Can you imagine being banned from a store for shoving steaks in your pants? I'll get your report number up front. Yeah. Where's your office out of your phone? Uh, uh, there's just a bowl of rock in my kitchen. You just leave everything else right here. Yep, you can take the crackers. Everything else is staying right here. All our yeah, reports yeah. up there. That's uh, the criminal trespass <laughs> warrant. And then you can just go out and install it with everything. That's embarrassing. Everything you said has been a lie so far. So you're not coming back. You had steaks in your pants. I'm not coming back. You're packing some serious meat down there. Stop it. Oh my God. They give her the rundown outside. She's officially trespassed from the store. She's been caught red-handed or red-meated, I guess. Dumpster suspect caught. Oh, oh, oh. These thieves were arrested on suspicion of theft. The first suspect was caught easily, and he gave in. Put that shit down! Just put that down! Get on the floor! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Okay. 
the cops move over to the next suspect. The guy must realize the game's up because he complies and emerges with his hands raised. They quickly cuff him while the cops are still piecing together what happened. A nearby witness claims they saw four men involved, all dressed in black. It sounds like this crew had a busy night. Stop now! I didn't see him underneath there, dude. Hey, come on with your hands up now. Hands up now! Hurry up! Hands around your back. I heard them. I live right here and I just kept hearing this banging sound. I just saw them doing something. It was four males. I couldn't describe them. They were all wearing black hoodies. Okay. They find the next suspect in the dustbin, hiding from the police. It's like the police and these guys are playing hide and seek. As they arrest the suspect, one officer asks what's wrong with his leg. The suspect claims he got shot, but after a quick check, they find no gunshot wounds, just a hurt ligament, probably from jumping over a fence while trying to run away. Not a great escape plan. No, 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 I don't care. Right now, you are detained. All right, now, real quick. What's wrong with your leg? What's wrong with your leg? Talk to me. I got shot, I think. You got what? I got yes, shot. You think you got shot? Is that what you're saying? You got shot? Talk to me. No. I'm saying. Oh, shit. What is it? Ah, wait, wait, wait. Talk to us. What are you, what are you feeling? What's wrong with your leg? You heard it hopping over the fence, the wall. All right, you don't talk to us, and we're just gonna uh, I'm see saying. see what's going on with you. Oh my God, right here. What is this? Your phone? Yeah. What's back here? What's wrong with that? It hurt. It hurts. The police try to get more info from the guy, but he's not saying much. His story changes from thinking he got shot to having a pulled ligament. The cops check for blood, but this guy is sore from running. At this point, they start calling for medical help to check him out. No blood? No. Roll, yeah, roll over? Yeah. Side, but oh, I don't, I start fire? Oh. Uh. Did you get shot on this side? That's old. That's old? That's old. That's old. That's old. I'm not saying that's all right. Yeah. You're just hurting from that. Is what yeah, you're saying, right? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself when you were running? Can you walk? No? Yes, you can walk. Come on, man. Oh, my shit hurt. Oh, y'all don't understand. I mean, have y'all been shot before? Yeah, but you were running earlier. Yeah, you look perfectly fine running. Come on, man. That where? Okay. Yeah, so we'll make our way back. I got you right here. The cops recap how they caught the guy. One officer saw him running from behind the bank after he ignored orders to stop. The suspect made a beeline for a vehicle, but it didn't go far. He was the last guy left in the car after everyone else bailed. That's some unlucky timing. The officer caught the suspect while trying to hide in the garbage. They also found a USB cable and a mask in the trash, possibly evidence from the bank heist. They started checking the area for more dumped items, but this guy's luck had clearly run out. Yeah, dude, you were mad. Like, you were mad, dude. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, there's no way I'm losing this. Yeah, you were mad. I need a head start. Please, I don't want to pay a minute. What's that, man? I can't hear you. I said, I don't want to pay a minute. They're, on, they're on their way, Jacoby. I'm not being resisted. No, no, you're not. <laughs> we're just going to help you right now, okay? We're just going to breathe, man. In the end, all three suspects are caught. The witness recalled how the last one tried to play innocent, casually strolling around as if he wasn't involved. But he didn't get far, thanks to the quick work of witnesses and officers. That and here, Monday, we're gonna call the FBI and see if they wanna pick up this case. So that's another reason why you guys are gonna end up staying in jail, at least until you see a judge initially. Because if, if the feds decide that they wanna take this case federally, then they need to, to be able to find you guys. Robbery suspects captured. 
This body cam footage begins with a SWAT officer attempting to capture a group of masked suspects who allegedly whipped a man and a woman at gunpoint during a robbery in December. The suspects, thinking they had successfully escaped, are now being pursued by police. Hey, keep your hands up. Come on, man. Come on, man. This ain't worth it. Just let her go, man. This ain't worth it. This ain't worth it, man. This ain't worth it, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Back up now. Come on, man. An officer approaches one of the suspects, orders him to keep his hands up, and tells him to come out. The suspect is finally on the ground, and the officer checks to ensure no more threats are in the area. He asks if there are any other people in the house. Hey, anybody else in the house? Hands together like your friends. Hands together like your friends. Was any more guys in the house? How many were in there? You gotta help me up. I'll block my arm. Medical personnel are called in after one of the suspects is found bleeding from his face. The officers reported the injury and requested immediate assistance to treat him. How old is he? Yes. They're all out. Hey, I need a 32 over here for at 910. Ardella, we got a black male bleeding from his face. I'm 32 as fast as possible. Officers discover additional suspects hiding in the backyard. They immediately move to apprehend them, calling for backup and securing the area. Okay. Okay. Is there a way to get into your garage? No. Okay. Okay. Here, guys. Come on. This way. Here. Drop. Hey, it's definitely there. All right, hold on. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Don't, Don't move now. Hands up. Hands up. Get out. Driver, get out. Driver, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Watch your back! Watch your back! Watch your back! Don't move! Don't move! Stop clicking your door! Give me the other hand right now, mother. Yeah, dude. Another suspect is captured as officers continue their pursuit bringing them into custody and recovering stolen goods, including firearms. They ran over there, they put in the driveway, they car jacked down. Whoa. There's another pistol right there, too. I will leave it. Give me the wagon for him or a cruiser. Walk over here. As the situation calms, officers continue processing the crime scene reassuring the lady that the situation is under control. The suspects are placed in the police cars as officers finalize their investigation and prepare to transport them to the station. Bank robbery chase. 911, where is your emergency? It starts off like any typical day until someone calls 911 from Dollar Bank to report what looks like a bank robbery. You know, it's just your usual Tuesday. The caller mentions two suspects in black hoodies with masks over their faces. Yep. Okay, you think there's a bank robbery occurring at 7500 Chippewa? Okay, bank yep. robbery, bank robbery, 7500 Chippewa. Okay, God. He's going around traffic. He's going straight to the highway. Tell, just straight. No plates. Two black males. Okay, two black males. Okay, got it. 
hoodies uh, have masks pulled over their ma uh, over their face. Both hoodies uh, with masks on their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know where you're at. The officer is speeding, dodging traffic, and hitting 105 mph. All van pursuit going eastbound. I would advise Garfield. Traffic heavy. We're going to be approaching the bridge. Speed 90. Traffic heavy. 58, you copy this? We're going to be approaching the bridge here in a second. I got to give a second to you. I do not. Speed 80. Traffic heavy on the bridge. I'm trying to make it through the cars here. He's in the speed lane. We're in the middle of the bridge, crossing over into Valley View. Finally, they hit a vehicle and bail. One male's on foot, and the officer's car is officially out of commission. After all that, he's stuck on foot. But don't worry, one suspect is already in custody, and the chaos is winding down. Cuffs, 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 cuffs. I got cuffs, I got cuffs. All right, we got one in custody, 89th and uh, Lorraine. I think I broke my finger. You guys good? Good job. Both good? good job. One male bailed. He hit my car. Tell that Garfield, yeah, he's got to pursue on his own. My vehicle is dysfunctional at this point. They struck a vehicle, West 85th and Lorraine. I'm out on foot. Did you smack something? Yeah. What'd you hit? The fence. Ah. Uh, Oh, where you tried to scoot past me. I tried to give you as much room as I could because I knew you were coming in hotter than I was. Good job, boys. I bumped him. Did you? Good. I don't think uh... he wasn't paying attention. He was looking at him. And I just oh, kind of. No, no, no. He was he was running on foot, and I cut in front of him, and he yeah, you I was... bumped him physically. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Hey Garfield, do you know, this is Brexville, right? This is their incident. This is their robbery, yeah. Okay, do you know where they're at? No. Because he, he's bleeding pretty good from the face. What's his name? I, I just patted him down, I haven't ID'd nobody. What they were in? Yeah. He's bleeding from the face real bad, so I'm trying to get a hold of Brexville to get medical up here. I assume it'd be Cleveland FD coming. Couple caught stealing. A 25-year-old woman named Hannah, along with her fiancé, Catherine, is wanted by the police for shoplifting. As the video begins, an officer spots Hannah and orders her to stop. Come here. Here. Stop. Babe! Babe, help oh, so I'm going out there in front of... Babe, help! Babe, help! Babe, help! help me! Yeah, I'm going to arrest that. For what? For what? Babe, help me! Babe, help. Ocean, I'm out with her in front of the Ford dealership. Stop, put your hands behind your back. Okay, okay. While handcuffed, Hannah continues to plead with the officers, saying she didn't steal anything and claiming her fiance was the one they should be looking for. The officers press her to explain where she's coming from and she tells them she is at Marshall's and Sierra's. Come on, Hannah, how do you Yes. Where are you coming from? Marshalls. Marshalls? Yeah. Where else? Mar <laughs> Marshalls, and I went to Sierra. My fiance was at Target. That's who, that's who you're looking for. She's wearing a white shirt and, and gray shorts. Okay. That's why I was telling well, you where she a, was. They said a female. Yeah, that's her. It's, it's, a, it's a female. Yeah. She has short hair, white shirt, gray pants. That's who you're looking for. I think she left. That's somebody, that's, that's yeah, that's what I'm out right now. She, she's down there. I swear to God, she's down there. I just left. That's what I was going. I was telling you that she's down there. Okay. The officers ask her if her fiancé was with her at Target. Hannah confirms this and tells them her fiancé, Catherine, is nearby. Despite being cooperative, Hannah is clearly nervous, insisting they look for her fiancé. The officers note Catherine's description. My fiance and my, and my friend. What's your fiance's name? Her name is Catherine. Catherine Watt. Um, last name is Henderson, H A N D E R S O N. She's right down there in the room. That's who What's I, the room? I heard her. What's the room? 105. I heard her calling for the woman outside of Target calling for her. And I told her to, to stop and 
they get to stop, but she kept going. But you weren't looking for me, you're looking for her. For real. The officer finds a lighter in Hannah's possession, but no weapons. She insists she has a receipt on her phone for the items she bought, so they decide to check her claim at the store. Turn around, face me. All right, have a seat. That says not from Target. Right, just so you know. For this, um, I, have a, I have an email receipt in my phone. Okay. Officers determine that Hannah wasn't fully truthful. After running checks at the store, they find no record of her paying for the items. They also confirm that her fiance, Catherine, was involved in the theft. She's saying that the other one, we're looking for her fiance, which is another one female. Five, one five, Michelle, one. Michelle, Michelle, number 105. Number 105. 105 or 104. Describe it. We'll call them that. I wasn't really going to go out with her because they said for sure going here. No, no, these are so, so so perfect. perfect. Like, that's why I was like. Yeah. The store staff confirms that Catherine didn't go through the register, meaning everything she had was stolen. Hannah admits to the theft, but her fiancé is still at large. So she wasn't being 100% truthful with us, but she said some of that is hers, that she had a receipt but doesn't have... She said it's on her phone, but she doesn't have it with her. Is there a way you guys can tell? Yeah. So she's saying she bought a few things and stole the rest. So yeah. you know for sure what was taken? I mean, she never goes to a register, but I'll be able yeah. to find that stuff. I yeah. can run it and yeah. find no transactions by her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All right. She didn't even go to a register today? All right, and then she stole it all. Yeah. I mean, if she didn't even go to a register, let her go to court and figure it out. Yep. That's definitely her. You said there's another female? Is that who she's with? or This is who she's with. Okay. They've been here together at least one other time. She's been here two other times. Did this one steal anything? Yeah. Yes? That's Just actually that. who we were, like, physically watching today. Okay. Really? Yeah. The officers continued their investigation and decided to track down Catherine. They know where she might be staying and plan to confront her. Hello, how are you? Good. Is Catherine around? Who's Catherine? Catherine? White girl with short hair? Not that I know of. Not that you know of? Not that I know Is of. Is anyone else in there with you? No, not that I know of. I just got in here. I was next door, so Okay. Is this you should take a quick look. We're just looking for Catherine. I can't and give you else. permission to do that. Is this your place? No, it's not my place. Whose it's place not. is it? It's A1's. It's A1's. Who's A1? He's a good friend of mine. Okay. But I can't give you permission. Okay. You know where the girl with short hair? Does she stay here or stay? You know, I don't the know. The officers approach Catherine's possible location but someone inside denies knowing where she is. The officers persist, explaining they need to find her to resolve a minor issue before it escalates. What is she doing? I mean, if she's not like family, we can't really say, but I can tell you for sure that it's a, it's a minor thing, disorderly person's thing, not the end of the world. I think she knows. Hi, so Hi Catherine. How are you? Yeah. Hello, Hello. All right. Oh, don't go All right. Hold on a minute. Catherine finally emerges from the building and cooperates with the officers. She admits to ditching the stolen bag near the dealership to avoid being caught. The officers cuff her and ask if she has any warrants. Yep, so we just want to ask you a question. Where's the bag that you took, that we Absolutely. saw on camera? Where? Back here. Where, over here? Back in the, by the, oh, over there by the dealership. By the dealership? If I drove over you over there, could you show me where you threw it? I mean, kind of, I threw everything. Like, I threw it loose. Yeah? Okay. I didn't want to be caught with it. Okay. Just put your hands together like you're praying. You got any warrants, Catherine? Nope. You got any warrants? I don't know if I've never met you before. I've been arrested before or not. Just shop with me. It's not the end of the world. We'll get you out in the summons and go to court. All right. All right. I have a female 41. Uh, the problem is you guys ran. Just hold on tight. Nobody knows what's going on. It's, you know, like the sergeant said, it's minor. So, you know, we don't need to make a mountain out of a molehill, all right? Just watch your head again in there. Shoplifting goes wrong. The scene starts with two officers approaching a man who had been seen running from a store after stealing several T-shirts. CCTV footage captured him in the act, and the officers quickly ran after him in the parking lot. 
the man made a run. Bad move. Come here, dude. He's going all the way towards the brook again. Towards the entrance exit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're up, I'm stuck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of the fucking sorry. car. I'm sorry. Get out of the car. I got t-shirts, I only got t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. Shut up. Give me the I'll fucking the... keys. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. I only sell t-shirts. What do you got there, bro? Nothing. What do you got? I only got teasers. I only got teasers. I only got teasers. Down on the ground. Down on the fucking ground. Down on the ground. I only got teasers. Down on the ground. The man panics, clearly shaken by the officer's presence. He fumbles with his words, repeatedly apologizing and insisting that it was just the t-shirts he stole. Despite his attempts to play down the situation, the officers become more suspicious when he keeps reaching into his. Turn over. I'm so Turn over! I just say the fucking again. I was so t-shirt. I was so shirt t-shirt. I'm sorry. I was so shirt. Give me your fucking hand. I was so shirt t-shirt. I was so shirt t-shirt. Give me your fucking hand. I said. I said. I said. I said. I said. I'm sorry. 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 As they prepare to take him in, the man continues to apologize, regretting his decision to flee. The officers collect his phone and other belongings, explaining that some items can't be brought into the detention center. He's placed in the police car, realizing that what could have been a minor theft has turned into a more serious issue because of his decision to run. Let me ask you give her my keys, please, sir. Let me figure out the help first. I'm going to figure out the help first. I didn't know you were lying. Please, sir. Can you give me my car keys, sir, please? Please give me my car keys, sir. Now, why did Donald Trump say that? Because it was Joe Biden. And I'm going to have a little change. What do you need the keys to call his mom? Because I don't want to call his Yes, sir. So you can call his mom. You don't need the keys to call his mom. This is my car keys, sir. I just want the car keys. I just want the car keys. As I said before, please. I just want the car you can see it up in three, all right? One, two, three. I fucked up. Was he kind of getting this touch? Yeah, it's it. He couldn't lock the door. I fucked up. I ain't know you fucked up. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm lying. I fucked up. There's more souls in the Yeah. He's got a... I fucked up. Joe Biden's overseeing literal kids in cages. Remember what AOC did? The officers tell him once more that things could have gone differently if he had cooperated from the start. With that, they transport him to the station for processing, and his earlier attempt to flee only adds to his troubles. Right. I did one set of mess my speed, I fucked up. I fucked up. Right. I fucked up. Alright. I fucked up. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want to apologize. Listen, see, I'm sorry. I ain't know nobody was lying. It's all good. Take a seat. Take a seat. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't know nobody was lying. You know. What's your name? Robert. Yeah, I tried to avoid this. <laughs> I was just telling. I was like, yo, he just said he wants to try to avoid that. Oh, thank you so much. I ain't know nobody was lying. I ain't know. It's a bit shorter than that. As she saw it on the camera, I was like, I'm just taking a picture of your plate so I can run the plate and just say this is the type of vehicle he's trying to get into, okay? Hey. Thank you, miss. Yes. Are you listening yes. to me? Yes. Okay. So our policy and procedure says you have to be processed at detention because of everything that happened with this incident. If you had just stopped in there and said, okay, I'll give you the stuff back, you would have handed you a summons, you would have walked away. Okay. But because of everything else that escalated, because of you trying to escape and the actions that you took, you have to be processed. I never see. Would I never you, see him. Would, would you please continue listening to me? Please don't be rude to me. Uh, I'm not being rude to you. Okay, I'm not okay, yelling okay, at okay, you. Sorry. Okay. When you get down to detention, they are going to take your picture, fingerprint you, and if you don't have any warrants, they are most likely going to give you a summons right on the spot. But you are going to be going to detention, whether you want to or not. Okay. Fraud bank withdrawal. It all starts when officers are called to a local bank. The reason. A woman is suspected of committing fraud, and the bank staff is already suspicious. The situation's a bit dicey. She's trying to withdraw $4,000, but things aren't adding up. The woman has the last four digits of an account that was compromised, and the actual account holder is in Pennsylvania. It's definitely not looking good for her. That's her. Yep. 
chinos. And this is the ID. Um, we are ready to talk to the government. The real customer, and she's in PA. So what you trying to do? She's trying to. She's trying to withdraw four thousand dollars out of her account. So how she trying to do that? She has an ATM. No, she has the last four numbers of an account that was already compromised. So back office already know that there's something going on. So they probably already were able to withdraw oh. money. Yeah. Oh, she already. Yeah. Not not today. Because they have the customer had to open a new account, so the account that she has, the last four numbers of the account that she has, is already been closed and a new account was opened. The bank staff explained to the officers that the woman didn't know the actual account was closed and a new one was opened for the actual account holder. No, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna stand over there, please. I will. I literally stand. Have to my ride. Stand over there. I'm not gonna tell you that. Please stand over there. When officers approach the suspect, she's clearly trying to make a getaway. She tries to argue that her ride is waiting, but the officers aren't having it. Where's your ride? All the way down there. I could kind of have them hold, but they literally need to find All right, let's stand under the tree over there. You said what? Let's stand under that tree over there. Where there's shade. Okay. Yeah, where there's shade. Okay. Listen, stay where I gotta talk to them before I even know what things going on. The officers are on the phone with the real account holder, who's confirming everything from Pennsylvania. Someone using this person's identity has targeted the bank multiple times. The suspect tries to play dumb, but the evidence is mounting fast. So the actual customer is saying, PA. Philadelphia, um, yeah. Pennsylvania means? Yeah, Pennsylvania. I'm talking to them right now. This is the third time that she has been trying to the bank. Who's the person? Right now, John, I'm John. Are you on the phone? Hey, what's going on? Who's this individual here? Okay. So what? Six you can hold the 66 for me. That's his beat. Stay tuned to let me run this ID, all right? Uh, I've yeah, not asked right? anything. I've not been under her yet. Um, probably going to be at 1015, but stay tuned to oh, let me. Yeah, yeah, he's getting uh, his information, all right? Okay. The officer on the phone with Pennsylvania gets confirmation that the woman trying to withdraw money is not the real account holder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you are being questioned. Why am I being... Hold on. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before enduring any questions. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind, do you want to talk to me while we're here today? I'm sorry, what now? Do you want to talk to me while we're here today? Um, I'm not really sure. Questioning, I guess, my ID or something. Okay, what's your real name? My real name is it's Cheryl. Is it Cheryl? Cheryl. Okay. Where'd you get your ID? Back home. Right back. Things escalate quickly. The officer reads the suspect her Miranda rights, and she looks confused. The officer presses on, asking for her real name. She claims it's Cheryl, but the story is getting shakier by the minute. The officers know something's up. They've already spoken to the real Cheryl, and the pieces aren't fitting together. So are you saying you are Cheryl? You are the individual that gave me that ID and that is exactly who you are. That's who you were born with. That information. Um, I've already explained that. I, I do want to speak to an attorney though. If that's if you're really arresting me right now for Are you detained right now? Are you under arrest? Well no, I'm not detained, but you just read me my Miranda rights, you said. Because so. we're trying to determine if a crime was committed. So now you're telling me you are that person or you're not that person? I've been telling you I'm that person, but I'm just trying to figure out why. The situation is becoming clearer. Cheryl's real identity has been stolen multiple times in New York, Florida, and now here. The suspect continues to dodge the questions, refusing to cooperate. The officer even tells her about the identity theft cases, but she insists she's the real Cheryl, even though nothing is adding up. Still dodging, she talks about how she just took an Uber and is visiting. The officers are patient but firm. They need the truth. The ID we got out of Pennsylvania, the picture that comes back to that is cut in half. It looks like it's not her. Everything's correct besides the picture, apparently. Her identity's been taken in three different locations. So I told that I tell type to email me the actual picture so they don't they don't have to send me an email. I right, bring your car over here. It's my social law. What's up? To give me the right social. Yeah, we'll just verify the picture that's on the DM. Oh. So we're on uh, this one. Finally, the comparison with the DMV photo makes it undeniable. 
The woman looks nervous, but she's not ready to give up yet, still claiming she doesn't understand the problem. That's the no, 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 it's just we're trying to figure out what's going on with your ID, the account you're trying to access, and all that. Right, right. So, you're saying that ID belongs to you? Yes, sir. So, when we run it, and that's the picture that comes up from the state of Pennsylvania, that's not you. That is 1000% not you. Okay. So, no problem, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. We run the ID. That's the picture that comes up. The DMV. Through the DMV. State to state. So we're going to try this again. What's your name? Cheryl. I'm going to let you know, if we don't get your name, you're going to go to jail. Because it's false information to a law enforcement officer. An arrestable crime. It's also presenting a false ID to a law, to a bank. I can tell you this is a fake ID. I'll show you how. See, you thought you printed a good ID, except for the hologram showed up as a real print on your picture. It's not a hologram. The hologram showed up. Okay. I didn't expect the ID. So, who are you? You're not Cheryl. You're not from Pennsylvania, and that's not your ID. So let's try this again. The officer tells her they've had enough of the back and forth. He cuffs her telling her she's being arrested for fraud and false information. The suspect starts panicking, claiming she doesn't want to be arrested. Give me the other hand. Ow, ow, my wrist is already messed up. It's bigger. Give me the cuff. Right, here's a cuff. So it's for Cheryl. Definitely have. Hold on, okay. Can I give one on one second? I'm just putting my phone so I can... I know. I know. Oh, okay. I was just trying to make it easier so I could put my arm back. Put it in the car. So I don't know if you understand what he's trying to tell you, right? So, presenting false information, that's another charge. Separate from what happened in there. So, you have another charge added. So, I'm not so, to have anything so added we, anything. we can go back and forth with this all day but that's going to be an extra charge and it's a felony so i'm letting you know right now so whatever game if you want to play is it is what it is so so if you want to add an extra charge to what you already have in there that's up to you all right we could be here all day the officers explain that she's digging herself into a deeper hole if she doesn't come clean she could be stuck in jail for who knows how long until they figure out who she is where is the most convenient bank which bank is that there's no caller id Who's on the phone? I was letting Fred Hello? know that I was getting detained. She was on the phone. Not the whole time, just literally. 30 minutes? Oh, for the last 30 minutes. Yeah, that's a long time. In the end, it's revealed that whoever dropped her off here was probably part of her scheme. But it doesn't matter now. She's heading to jail. The officers aren't fooled by her excuses. And they explain that she'll be facing some serious charges for fraud and lying to the police. You don't understand. You don't know hey, me. I'm trying to identify who you are, but know, you're, but you're over here. You're lying to me the whole time. So how can I give you information if you want to lie? It's okay. Keep going. Oh, I got you. I got you. Where are we going? To that car over there. All right. What's your real name? Christina. Christine. Christina. Christina. You have a Florida ID. I don't have a Florida ID. What do you have to identify who you are? I'm in the process of getting one, sir. I do not What have, have you had in the past to identify who you are? I've had an ID in the past, but my license has been suspended. That's fine. Yeah. What kind of, from where? Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.